day we'll be less miserable We'll dye our heads invisible Wrapped up in robes Not of this earth Not of this earth Not of this earth Not of this earth, of this earth. A punch in the gut Hi, Jennifer Chat. It's Cole here. And today's topic um, deals with sort of an abstract question, which I found interesting. Um, if you were born the opposite sex or assigned the opposite sex at birth, how do you think your gender identity would differ? Do you think you would identify as male, female, or you, do you think you would identify as gender queer? Um, I actually had a lot of um, trouble answering this question along with the um, I think other two people that have posted videos this week because it is an abstract thing to think about. Um, there's a lot of things to consider when, when putting yourself in um, a situation that you probably can't relate to fully or really know what that would be like. Um, I think the most important thing to consider is socialization. Um, I myself socialized female, extremely female. Um, I was treated that way. I still am most of the time. Um, and so I think that my views on the world would be a lot different had I been assigned male at birth. Um, I feel similarly to Matt, so I think I'm just going to sort of review what he said a little bit and then maybe expand on it. Um, I think that, like Matt, I would relate to my body in a much more natural way had I been born male. Um, I, I guess that the closest thing... Um, I know Matt identifies sort of as like a lesbian identified person. I am more of a um, pan romantic um, masculine identified person. Um, <laughs> it's very complicated. Um, I think that if I were socialized as male, I would take for granted a lot of things that I am aware of now. Um, I think that I would relate to my genitals and to my body in general a whole lot more if I were assigned male at birth. Um, and I don't think that I would question gender quite, quite as much. Do, you, do I think that I would be some heteronormative straight man? Probably not. Probably not. I think Ricky was talking about on Monday, they were talking about how um, different research that's been done on brains and um, assigned female and assigned male brains um, and how they're different. Um, so I'm thinking in terms of if I had the same brain, which you know apparently may not may not be true if I were born um, assigned male. Um, but if I had the same brain, but just had different equipment, different genitals, different body, um, I think I would be more of a, um, I, would, I think I would still be pansexual, um, effeminate, masculine identified. That's kind of how I feel, is I'm more of an effeminate, um, masculine and identified person than perhaps butch, um, identified female um, person. So I think that I would still be um, uh, the same in that I would be, you know, panromantic and effeminate. I think I would just have um, maybe a body that I would relate to uh, in a more um, real way, in a more connected way. Um, I don't know if I would be genderqueer identified. I don't know that if I had different body parts. Um, I know that I would be an open person and I would hope that, um, I would be able to relate to the word genderqueer and, and understand what that was. But if I didn't have the dysphoria, the physical dysphoria that I've experienced, being born cisgendered female or being born um, assigned female at birth, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I would really 
think of it in those terms if I were born in a different body. It's interesting to think about. I think that I'd probably probably be more cisgendered than genderqueer if I had a body that I related to because the dysphoria, the physical dysphoria, is kind of what triggered me to identify as genderqueer in the beginning. And that's not all of why I'm genderqueer, if not because of just my body dysphoria. But I think that if I had less body dysphoria, I wouldn't worry about it as much. It wouldn't be as big of an issue. Um, I wouldn't have to present or try to um, present in a particularly masculine way um, if I had a male body. So I think that I probably would be um, an effeminate, panromantic, artistic, cisgendered boy um, if I were assigned male at birth. Um, I think that's about all I have to say about this topic. It really was a great viewer, viewer topic. I hope that, that um, I answered the question um, to the best of my ability. It was a very difficult question because there's a lot of things to consider when you think about socialization and also um, when you think about how you've been treated and um, how you view the world in terms of your gender identity and what gender identity other people want to put on you. Um, that has a lot to do with it. And also, body dysphoria has quite a bit to do with how you interact with the world. So, anyway, um, I guess that is it for this week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!